In the previous video, we discussed about the enzymes and proteins of bacterial transcription. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the proteins and enzymes in eukaryotic transcription. First of all, we have RNA polymerase enzyme, which is the primary enzyme in transcription. Unlike prokaryotes, which have only one RNA polymerase enzyme, the eukaryotes have three different RNA polymerases. That's RNA polymerase 1, 2 and 3. Now all the three RNA polymerase transcribes different types of genes. Like RNA polymerase 1 transcribes genes of 5.8S, 18S, 28S RNA genes. Then we have the RNA polymerase 2 which transcribes all protein coding genes. And also it transcribes SNORNA genes, MyRNA genes and most SNRNA genes. And finally we have the polymerase 3 enzyme. This polymerase 3 enzyme transcribes tRNA genes, some snRNA genes and other small RNA genes also. So we see here among these three RNA polymerases, it is the RNA polymerase 2 which transcribes all protein coding genes. So this enzyme can be said the primary enzyme or primary RNA polymerase in eukaryotes. So these are the diversity of genes being transcribed by all the three RNA polymerases. Now let's jump towards the transcription factors in eukaryotic transcription. We have five different transcription factors TF2D, TF2B, TF2F, TF2E, TF2H. So these are the five different transcription factors we have. The transcription factor 2D has got two different subunits TBP subunit and TAF subunit. The TBP subunit recognizes Tata box, while as TAF subunit recognizes other DNA sequences and also regulates DNA binding by TBP. Then we have transcription factor 2B. It has got role in recognition of BRE element in promoters on DNA. And it also positions RNA polymerase at the transcription starting point. Then we have transcription factor 2F. This transcription factor stabilizes RNA polymerase interactions with TBP and transcription factor 2B. And it also recruits transcription factor 2E and H. Then we have transcription factor 2E which regulates transcription factor 2H. And finally, this transcription factor 2H unwinds DNA at transcription start points. It phosphorylates the SER5 of RNA polymerase CDT and also releases RNA polymerase from promoter. Now let's have a look for some consensus sequences. First of all, we have transcription start point INR sequence, which is termed as plus one position. Then we have Tata box, TATA box, a sequence at minus 30 position. Then we have BRE sequence at minus 35 position. And we also have DPE sequence at plus 30 position. Now let's see what are the consensus sequences for these elements. The BRE element has got consensus sequences as G or C, G or C, G or A, then we have C, G, C, C. And to this element, transcription factor 2B binds. Then we have Tata box with a sequence of T, A, T, A, A, T, A, A, or T, and to this TBP subunit binds. Furthermore, we have INR element with a sequence as C or T, C or T, A, followed by any nucleotide. Then we have T or A, C or T, and C or T. And this element is recognized by transcription factor 2D. Furthermore, we have DPE with the sequences shown in the tables and it gets recognized by transcription factor 2D also. And we also have CAAT box and GC box on DNA having sequences shown in the table. The CAD box or CAAT box gets recognized by NF1 and NFY. NFY are the nuclear factors. Whereas the GC box gets recognized by SP1 protein. And on the left, these are the locations in accordance with the plus one starting point. So these are the proteins, enzymes and basic concepts we encounter during the transcription of eukaryotes. Now in the upcoming videos, we will be discussing about the transcription mechanism in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.